Hi, it's Professor Leonard, and I want to talk to you about poetry just for a few minutes as we're getting ready to write our, our first poems and work on our brief poetry section in our creative writing class. Um, the first thing I want to mention to you is that poetry um, seems to defy a really great definition. If you look poetry up in a, um, you know, in a dictionary or you see a common one, it'll say something about metered language. Maybe it'll say something about um, intense, intense um, uh, sensory language. I, I don't know. The way I like to think about poetry is it's, it's two things. Number one, it's word art. And as word art, it is the freest of word art. Short stories, those are great. Creative nonfiction, that's great too. But really, when you get down to it, I think that poetry is the most liberating, most controlled form of creative writing ever conceived. A poem can be true, absolutely true. It can be false and fantastic. It can be any of those things, but it's we're striving for a piece of word art. We want this word art really to be um, sensory rich. We want it to have organization and a pattern of some type. And that this is this is another thing that makes poetry interesting. Poetry is um, the type of writing that where the writer has the most control. And the writer's control is derived by nothing other than the concept of how the poem will come together. So that they, even the paper on the page in which this poem is written is not a limiting factor. The lines can be as long as the poet des desires, as short. The poem can be a squatty little paragraph or it could run down the page like rain falling into the sky and then going down the gutter, go, 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 go. you know, it's, it's amazing what poetry, poetry can do. And I'm, as I'm thinking about our journey together with poetry, I don't want you to think that you have to be rhyming to write great poems. I would argue that rhyming is something that a modern poem, uh, poet rather, gets to through time and space that the classic meter and um, schemes of so many poems, you know, the, <laughs> the metrical feet, da -da 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 -da. Th those metrical feet are beautiful. They have a place in the world of poetry, but that's something that people get to after writing intense, more free verse types of poems. I think our book does a good job of trying to balance saying, Hey, maybe writing metered poetry can limit you. I want to encourage you to get away from the idea of having uh, rhyme uh, that's not internal rhyme or anything, but I'm talking about a heavy, structured, formal rhyme at the end. And I want to encourage you to get away from metrical feet. We only have a few weeks, and I think as we're working on writing poems, the best thing to do is approach our poem as an intense, unique experience, a word art that uses all of our senses, metaphoric language, and controls lines and how those lines are placed on the page to create an effect. That to me is the best definition of poetry. I think if you're trying to um, to define poetry by some kind of form, you are doomed. And so my recommendation is that we proceed that way. I want you to try to capture, a, um, capture an experience, capture some kind of feeling in very concrete, specific ways so that it's not this um, prefab, cliched, nonsense full of abstractions. Well, I'm going to have a couple more videos I'm going to put up. And with these videos, I want you to, to dig in and think about the subject. I want you to be reading ahead in the book. Uh, really, you got about 50 pages of instructional reading and about 45 pages of uh, writing with examples. I'll be supplementing some of those. But I want you writing poems right away. Remember, I want these poems to be unique, individual um, works of art. And I, I'm sure you're going to love that approach. So, you know, if you like da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da, uh, that's awesome. But you'll notice that even our poets in the examples that rhyme do with a lot more subtlety than, say, the silly limerick. At any rate, this Professor Leonard's um, just starting to get you to think about poetry and to think about how you may want to write it. Uh, please watch all the videos um, that I'm posting here so that you have a chance to see what I want and a chance to see what tends to work. Anyway, this is me signing off. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.